Lightning returns. I don't mean to bring up bad memories of an awful game, but she's back. The Night of Etro is here once again, and she is killing it. Worth all the hype. Wow. It's amazing what she can do. Let's not waste any time with this, though. That sword, uh-uh. I don't want you moving. Not gonna happen. So yes, I brought a three-turn Ami friend, because I really think that's all we needed as far as deletes go. And I wasn't a big fan of her damage not really doing much of anything with the magic resist, so I figure since she batteries up before the LD, and she only gets three uses of that, let's just take that. I don't think we really need much else. And you're about to witness me not understanding Lightning's new rotations. But I've since learned that you cannot get the the LD setup, you know, after you, you use it, she gets the three turns in a row. That won't work on the free turn. Didn't know that. But I guess that makes sense because, I mean, how busted was I expecting her to be? Very, but that would have just been too much. They would have allowed that, but she doesn't even need it. I mean, it's crazy what she can already do. Get the brakes. I mean, look at that. That's just... That's ridiculous. Where is the Tyrant's turn? I don't know. I don't want to know. It's been deleted and delayed into oblivion. And she goes again. That, I mean, full skills still. That's amazing. Pull for this girl. I'm being honest to God. Like the only con I can see is if you were, if you are one of those purists who doesn't like your characters too busted, then don't pull for her. Otherwise, yeah, throw everything you got at her because she's totally worth it. You might as well just keep the launches coming. The damage is already very consistent. We have the upper hand. Back into it. Okay, I think this is it right here where I attempted to go for, okay, then she gets the free turn. Maybe not. I don't remember. Let's see. I just did this. I already forgot. So I'm sitting here thinking. Yep. Yeah. So there you go. As you can see, she doesn't... She still gets the three turns in a row. It's just not instant turn rate like it would have been. Because that was on the free turn. So, lesson learned. I could have launched the sword, but why bother? The sword is meant to distract. That makes Spark Strike Plus. You can activate this. Two turn delay. Right back into it. And yes, BB is here even though this is magic resist. Um, he does imperil for himself. And he does batter himself up after Embers of Darkness anyways. So, BB works here even though it's magic resist. I mean, you'll see in a second. He does a very good job of getting rid of this sword. The rotations were a little sloppy with this. Again, this this was my first time really using the new lightning. I mean, yeah, I went through like the cosmos and stuff, but that all just died so fast. Let's get this in peril on. You 
She just jumped. She just keeps. There's no stopping her. Like, no wonder they make a bunch of stuff thunder absorb later on because they had to find some way for her to stop. I mean, she already trounces pretty much everything. There had to be some fights where you couldn't bring her. I think Square had realized that they screwed up with how good she was. So they went, okay, we have to figure out something to just nullify her out of some of these fights. Thunder Absorb. All right, good. There we go. So as you can see, uh, if you're unaware, as far as the orb mechanic, the Tyrant does not have an orb. He will get one when the sword dies. That's why I don't really want to focus it. But it doesn't even matter, because the way to offset it is thunder damage. And lightning is all you need for that. With how much she hits, that orb is going to be stuck at 10 for a long time. I wouldn't worry if I were you. In retrospect, this is probably when you should have used Pinello Call. Probably right here. I think would have made the most sense. But that was another thing. I had never used a call before. I wasn't sure exactly when to do it. I mean, you can see he was just about to recover. I really didn't need to do that. But it almost doesn't even matter much. Yeah, see, it did it again on the free turn. But I wanted to reset her buff, so there you go. Lesson learned. This definitely could have been done in less turns. If I knew what I was doing, but I kind of didn't. See, even with those brave hits being terrible, yeah, that's not so bad. Follow up with this. I'm realizing now the problem. And that's Ami's debuffs. I think it's getting in the way of uh, BB's Imperils. Because I don't even know if he has the Imperils on. I don't think he does. He has to. Otherwise, it wouldn't be doing as much as it was. The Brave hits are bad on some of this. But he's still shutting it down. Now is the time, my friend. I wanted to get a quick launch in the burst, but that didn't happen. That's okay, though. Should definitely bring him right at about the 30% mark by the time this is over, probably a little bit less. Oh yeah, he's already at 30. So she definitely takes a little getting used to, especially if you're already used to how lightning worked before, simply at EX+. But it's really not much more, it's just she gets to do more lightning things over and over and over again. With more delays, like, come on now. Amazing. Last 
I'm noticing how the fight's going. See how he's already down to 20 percent. Yeah, that imperil definitely isn't there. Ami definitely got in the way with that. But Pinello is completely making up for it. That Pinello call is actually really good. Everybody has a lot of brave when that Pinello comes out, and it stays that way. So the sword is gone, and now the sword is back at 14%. Yeah, do you see that? When you kill the sword, the tyrant gets the orb. That's how this works. It's your last launch. I was thinking about pressing LD, but no. She'll get free turns if she does that outside of the summon, so wait. Yeah, there we go. Now the Pinello call is gone. Vivi's not hitting for much. But he could build off of an imperiled sword. In fact, he could imperil everybody. Because all those debuffs are gone. Yet, she still had an LD left. I was too conservative. But it didn't matter. Alright, well the damage on that last hit wasn't much, but... He was on his way out anyway. It's another Lufinia down. Gotta get in there and get better arcs for her. I did the challenge quest too. Um, gonna record commentary for that. But until then, I hope you all enjoyed and thank you for watching.